Bark Shape is going to go out and just make sure that he can manage all of this and play Pokemon at the same time. Yeah, seriously, what an operation that's been going. Here's to another decade of this, because what we've had and what we've been able to do with some of these MSN matchups like this, it's, it's just incredible. Yeah, no, I expect a lot more to come from this. And we actually have Caraflex not playing the pits, but actually playing on the ground. Yeah, just opting to go right down from the platform to the end there, but Edna continuing this with the juggle. But Airflash coming in with him his own, getting spaced out, using his fairest actually space out the Palutena, but a great carry coming to play of Edna. He's waiting for the trip so he can get him with grab, but on him to find anything so far, and he tries to use the drive to catch him out, but lands him as one of his own, and he keeps on doing it the grab again. Kiraflax on a roll right now. Oh, he got the kill to some susty eye. Definitely in play there, right? My goodness, Kiraflax on fire. Yeah, very difficult to react to with that DI, but you have to do it properly. You're confirming off of that frame three down tilt and finding some more action of his own with a jab. Remember for a while there was that robble? I mean, it's 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 not true anymore, but it's still fairly prominent. Uh-huh, it's still there, but definitely Kiraflax does not need that. He prefers to be a fairly technical player. He's got the gyro available, gonna go in and grab it. He can confirm into the side special, and he actually does it, but falls out of it. Eftin actually did let go of shit. Oh, he's trying to trap him in between, but thankfully he's able to stay away from that side. And he tried to go ahead and do it there. Oh, down tilt. That could have been an M smash. But I don't think he expected not to hit that tech. This Kira Flex special. Yeah, he's just gonna hover in place to make it back. Excellent work, but the gyro here, Kira facing backwards. You know he wants this back air. That's a Kira special with Rob. He tends to delay his recovery so much, but he is someone with the back air, Abnet! Eat some rockets to the face. Yeah, able to find it seconds after. He's up three stocks to one. Rob, of course, a very heavy character, so able to live that explosive flame. A lot of void damage from Kiraflex, putting him up to about 150. Oh my goodness, he's caught it. My goodness, the Nair hits him up as well. Oh my goodness. Kira will take years to come down, and he will not care. Uh, Smash gonna be safely avoided. And back throws to get him back off the stage. Perfect ledge trap. Oh goodness. Ugh. Look at this perfectly spaced play, and he always oh, caught him in between, but couldn't hit him up with the back end of it. And Akira Flex instantly just used his special to get away from it. And he's right now, he's out of that down throw window, so Edna gonna have to find a rock hill here. Uh -huh. Not gonna be an easy one, he's gotta be careful. Oh, they both trade, but definitely Akira Flex coming on top of that one, because remember, he's a whole stock ahead. Here come the Nairs. At the start of that one, Kira able to escape only after 25. Has to find a way back down. Perhaps is he going to go for the Phantom Footstool in the face of that up air? I don't know. It just seems like he just loves to stall in the air. He always does it when he's recovering. He always does that. Yep. Yeah. Bruh! Bruh! He actually just waited and then caught him with the down throw. Oh my goodness. He just buffered a strange option there after mashing out. And Kiro was right. He just pounced on him and Ebnet only able to take him to 50% on the second stock. Caught him Kira, slipping. He's looking clean as ever. Oh, no. Clean as a hairline. My goodness, so good. Oh. I mean, recent performances be damned. He's just been so on fire thus far, and game one looking no different. Yeah, no, he did incredible stuff. And we're going to have to ride to Battlefield. Definitely a stage that can be worked for both both players, Palutena and uh, Kira can benefit from this. And Kira can even switch to Pits, and he's actually going to do that. Yeah, that's exactly what he's going to do. Going with the Dark Pit instead, this is a bit of a strange matchup because a lot of time and a lot of use that Dark Pit gets out of Nair is typically negated by Palutena's own Nair, just from the fact that the hitbox is a lot more consistent, as you can see right there. Yeah, I mean, that's what people say. Uh, Pit says a uh, boot like Palutena. Pit players can confirm that. And there we go, Ebnet does find him, himself in there. And this is gonna be a lot more patient play. We're seeing, trying to catch him up with the Nair and tries to catch him on there as well, but Pit's Nair does struggle quite a bit to land all the hits. Yeah, it's still very effective in this matchup, and we're seeing Kiraflax use it a lot early in this one, but as soon as Ebnet goes for his own Nair, that's when we're gonna see Kira go to another game plan. Yeah, and he's gonna use the arrow to help cover for his recovery, and he's able to get back on there. He's then fair of his own, trying to get away from this situation, catching him up with the fair as well. Another one as well. He's trying to space him out. This is a much slower game than previous. Yeah, just holding shield, being very careful here. A safety first Kira Flax. He should play safe. He actually has to play safe. That's the only way he can find himself in. And he's just waiting for mistakes that Ebnet makes. 
more fitting to his playstyle, but Ebnet. Oh, oh, drag down there and actually gets for a little more damage. He's trying to hit him with another arrow and trying to hit him with an electro shock up throw actually is trying to juggle him up for a little more damage. Trying to catch him on the air dodge, but successfully gets away. Gets around the explosive flame and able to connect an arrow. Get Palutena off ledge, down throw. Is he gonna find the back air? No. Nope. Great DI away from that one. Never DI in. Oh! He actually was able to avoid it and then there clips him for a little more damage. The side special used, but the arrow trying to cover his recovery. It's back on, but can Ebden find it? He's got the Nair once more. But Carefox is still alive, using that down special to make sure he stays safe. And the Fera forces Ebnet off of him. Turns well, goes back, but actually clipped by the final hit of Nair. Yeah, and the B reversal on that down special as well. To make sure sir, this stays a little bit safer. Back here, so close to killing. Carefox knows it. She knows he's got to play safe. One minute has already passed. Oh, he's getting away from that one with the side tail. He's still alive. Yeah, you cannot punish that F-Tilt with a spot dodge. It's active for about 16 frames or so. Electroshock can interrupt the up smash. Oh, goodness. He can't get grabbed right now. And the death jack finally kills. Careflex takes stock number one, but he's so close to dying, though. Yeah, this has really been a much slower game, too. That rapid jab actually going to be punished by the F-Tilt. Yeah, not the most awful thing, but Careflex catching with the Nair into the fair. Chasing him down, but can't get anything else. Ooh, he caught him. I like this little mix-up he did. Able to hold shield and goes right in, confirming into the Nair. Gonna go for something in return, and Palutena easily get these aerial confirms. So good and so clean. Ebnet, really trying to get this lead, and he's slowly evening it up. Spearflax on the back end this time. He's just facing backwards in no hurry to approach. Knows that he, even though he has a slight percentage disadvantage, he still has a way back into this game. He knows that Ednet just has to overcommit once, and that'll be his window. Man, I love how patient Kirafox is playing right now. Seeing to see what defensive maneuver that Ednet tries to go for. Waiting for these spot dodges, waiting for the air dodges in order to punish them accordingly. Oh, he tried to do electric shot, but he gets grabbed out of that one. But he gets away from that one. The side gets armored right through, and Kirafox finds his way home. Backwards drops down, oh! but falls right into the up smash. Ednet takes a stock advantage. Evan Light just caught them, but he actually sends him in the other direction, unfortunately for him. Tries to use the dash attack, he's able to escape it. But thankfully, Ebnet still staying alive. 144, the one strong hit from Carefox should end his stock. But here's where he can start to see the Nair. He escapes Ooh. after just one and finds the back air. Yeah, does find the back air and lands home. <laughs> Carefox, a little bit of flexing right now, looking like a level 10. Level 9 CPU, actually, when they take a stock, they like to do a little bit of dash dancing. And you know, down switch, but actually catches his toes. It's gonna hit with a little more damage. One throw, unable to find the Nair after. He's playing a little patient. This is definitely a game that Ebnet can win. He's just gotta play patient and escape these combos. Parry, but no follow up, unfortunately. Ooh, down tilt used safely. And this time the Rapid Jab does pay off for Careflex. And the drag down Nair does pay off once more. And he falls off the platform. But Ebden is quick on the chase as well. Bear puts him off stage, but still living at about 108. Oh, he's got him. him! You can't neutral get him. And Ebden takes that stop. And including the game, we're moving on to a game number three. Yeah, that's just one mental lapse from Careflex. But that's enough to take the entire game two for Ebnet. And all of a sudden, I'd be shocked if we don't see a switch back to Rob. Yeah, here. no, that Rob has got to come out. I mean, Evnet, pa um, Paolo, and Pitt really have the same game plan. He just mm -hmm. Paolo can do it way better than Pitt can. And in this case, Garaflax trying to sign the stage he wants to go on. This is still Evnet. This is potentially Evnet's set. Dark Pit seemingly not the answer for game two, but he's going to stick committed. it out. He's committed, man. Not sure why, but we'll see. Maybe he's got to change my mind. He's got a game plan. Carefax, look at him. He's full. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him, Oscar. Yeah, Kira just sticking with his guns, hopefully not falling into some of those same up smash setups. No, he's definitely playing a little safer. He's so focused. Look at him. He's literally vibrating in the seat from his inputs. He's focused. He's got his head so close. And this is definitely the scary Carefax that you're going against. And look at this result he's showing off. This spike as well. 63% so good for Kira. Yeah, look at how focused he is. He's leaning forward. I don't envy Kira's chiropractor at the moment because look at how far forward he's leaning. Yeah, he's leaning so far. That's like when you it's like when you're playing against your friend, but a great parry comes into play. Nair not able to catch anything and lands with the down throw. He baits out the air dodge while unable to find anything in return. Ebnet 
Oh, he tried to read it, but thankfully for Gearflox, he knew exactly what Epidem was going for. Yeah, just gets up and plays. Some of these rolls actually, Kira hasn't quite caught on to them yet, but Ednet just using an abundance of them. I mean, right now, Kirifox is like, why play it aggressive? He's looking for the arrow, no air dodge available, but he's able to get away from it. One forward throw definitely will be a death sensor for Ednet, so he's got to be careful. Auto reticle to get him back off the center stage. Don't get grabbed, that's all he wants. Don't get bathroom. And he gets caught up with the dash attack instead. Yeah, Ednet did really well to not pick out his shield under the platform, but right on top of the platform, he put himself in a no-win situation with Kira not fighting. No, this is a definitely a focus Kira flex. He's gotta be really careful against him. He's playing very defensive. Something we expect from him in this play, and uses the Nair to cross up the shield. Dash not even close enough to catch it. Yeah, that's really not safe on shield. Only able to get a couple of hits off the Nair down from the down. Oh, he grabbed the wrong way. Not able to find anything so far, but Kirifox, great B reversal on the arrow to catch a little more damage. And to catch him with the falling fair. Arrow not gonna land just yet, though. Able to get it into the down tilt this time, he and the it. counter just waited out. Great patience from Kirifox. Yeah, oh, he hits him with the arrow, actually. Palatina. He needs some shots to the face, and he's the electro shot. Adjusting his aim. Yo, he, yo, did he just stand still? And I'm, there? He just waited in place, and Kira is just getting more patient by the second. You usually see opponents get more flustered as the set goes on. Kira is just the opposite right now. He's literally the polar opposite. And the dash attack, no air dodge, no. Arrow finds home! He's not gonna die just yet, Kira Flex. On the chase, though. That could have been it, but not enough. Charge an arrow with the up smash. All too familiar to Kira Flex, but 152. It's about time until he loses the stock. And if the first one doesn't work, surely the second will. Yeah, Kira just taking some notes from Evnet. Up smash kills. Yeah, might as well do it once more. Here comes the string, 42%. But Evnet still got a fighting chance, though. It's just that Kira Fox is in his head right now. Way back there, actually able to get the auto reticle and dash attack afterwards. He find himself out of that one. The silver bow used again, this time reflected. It's a quite a chunk of damage, everything, and it's shield going right through. Looking for an option. Look at how much mileage he's getting out of this fair into grab. So good right now. And the back fair used. Eshmash trying to get something done, but Ebnet not letting anything happen. But Kirifox is happily playing defensive. He's like, what's the point of playing aggressive if I'm in the lead? Yeah, he's unable to punish that dash attack and does well to get this afterward with the fair into the air as well. He's out of a jump. Oh, he's gonna try to get something right now. Gets on the ledge, up tilt, finds a little more. Tries to read the tech, up tilt once more. Woo. Oh, he... This time he knew it was coming. And he knew the grab was coming. Interrupts it. Oh! Trying to go for a three. Show discards a bit too early with that up smash, and the dash attack almost carrying him off the top. Battlefield's very high ceiling saving him there. Oh, hit some with the electric shock. Not a lot of damage, though. And it takes some time to kill, as you can tell. 150 already. And he gets away from that situation. Back throw or up throw. No. Yo. Bets on how what the, how this match ends. <laughs> well, it's not going to end quite yet. You can tell he's hunting, perhaps, for this F throw. Ooh, yo. bad DI. But, ooh, camera work from 2GG. I like it. Dramatic from start to finish there. Kira found the option he was hunting for. Kira pop off! It cost him an up smash to take that stock too, but in the end, you could really tell he wasn't facing <laughs> He wasn't facing backwards, he was just facing forwards that entire time. Back air was out of the equation. Back throw was happening once, but when he was able to find that, it was either the fair 